What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Fake Khalid. But anyways, before I get into this episode review, I have to make a quick announcement because some of you have been asking me quite a bit recently since I've been talking about it in my vlogs and also when I talked about it in my first impressions. The Real Life full series review is coming very soon, most likely today, if not today, tomorrow. Just giving you all a heads up because many of you have been asking, and I know not everybody's going to watch this video because not everybody watches Fake Khalid, but for you Fake Khalid fans that like Real Life, here you go, here's some news. Real Life full series review is coming very soon. Now, besides that, this episode, very, very entertaining. Best word to describe the episode. The entirety of the episode was entertaining. Honestly, the episode had a really shocking moment at the end I did not expect to see. And that moment was the fan service with Ilya and Kuro. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not the first time we have seen fan service with Ilya and Kuro. It, it, it's not. But I was just completely blown away with seeing it in this episode. And also, how far Silverlink took the fan service in this episode. Because I was like... Holy fuck, like, the, the way it was done, I was just like, oh my god, it, they are really emphasizing that animation and all that, and the production value in that fan service scene, I'm like, oh my god, Silver Lake, <laughs> holy shit, uh, if you're gonna do, you know, animation and production value and all that quality in that type of scene, do so in fights as well, I'd like to see, you know, some epic fights that maybe we might get in the future of Season 4 have that quality of animation, but regardless of that though, what is the point of the episode, like the entirety of the structure? The main point, or the moral of the story when it comes to ep this episode of Fate Khalid, is that Ilya is being very selfish. She is being very selfish because she feels like she's alone, she wants to cry, and she is not really realizing how Miu once felt in the past. As we know, we just recently found out that Miu was from a different world. For instance, the world Ilya is currently now in. And the world Miu was in for the most of the time throughout the series was in a world she didn't even know. Ilya's world, and Miu is going through the exact same emotions that Ilya is currently going through, but Miu never said anything. She never vented her frustration, her sadness of being alone to anyone. She was always alone since the beginning of season one, and we never really realized what was really going on with her character, and now with, you know, this season, we finally found out the truth about, you know, what's going on with Miu, and Ilya now knows, and she's going through the exact same thing. So Kuro, she pops up in this episode, and she kind of just does a big beat down on Ilya, trying to ram it into Ilya's head that she needs to realize what she's currently going through is exactly what Miu went through, but Miu didn't complain, she didn't say nothing about it, and so the way Illy is acting right now, it's actually very selfish and she needs to understand that she's not the only one that has experienced this. So I really like how the majority of this episode is like Kuro just teaching her sister, Ilya, that you need to understand that this is how Miu once felt and you need to understand that you need to be strong as well for we can save her for, you know, she also can, you know, be once again with someone she cares about. Now, I do enjoy this episode for other reasons too, especially when it comes to the comedy and the subtle setups with Gilgamesh and uh, Bazette and all that. I, I like that. And I even love the equips when you see the, like, the different transformations of what Ilya has in this episode. She turns into Rider, she turns into Saber and stuff, and I lance her. I, I think my favorite though, over all of them, I really like the Saber cosplay that Ilya did. I like the Lily Saber, big fan of that, I love that fucking Saber so much, and seeing that costume, the design of Ilya, I was kind of fangasming a little bit, and then I also like, you know, Lancer's design, because I've talked about how, like, Lancer's best, bro, when I was actually an anime only for Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, I remember talking about Lancer, how he's just so badass, like, he's an awesome, epic fucking character, and now seeing, you know, more about his story, like, I know more about him, and also seeing him kind of being cosplayed through Ilya, I was a little bit happy too, that, that was a very good moment of this episode, like the little subtle nods to different characters throughout, you know, Fate's verse, I'm a big fan of and I always enjoy that, especially with, you know, how last week's episode was with Gilgamesh and his nod to his best friend, I was glad to see that as well. Now speaking of different nods and stuff, we see once again Kyrie in this episode, and he brings his tofu once again. <laughs> that man is just so great. Rejoice, Shonen. 
Ah, oh, Kira is such a good character. I, I hate Kira liking him, but he's such a good character. He's just like Gilgamesh. Like, I hate liking Gilgamesh, but he's so awesome. That's exactly how I feel about Kira. And seeing Kira in this episode and him delivering food to Illy and them, and seeing, like, how hot and spicy his food is, I'm like, yo, 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 just chill. Just chill, Kira. Now everybody can eat hell incarnate when it comes into food. So, yeah, episode overall of... Fate Khalid, it was an okay episode, like, it was nothing spectacular, it was nothing 10 out of 10, it was an okay episode, set up, allowing us to understand what Miu went through for the previous seasons, allowing Ilya to get some character development and characterization, that's kind of what the main point of the episode was, and that's about it. Now, let me know your honest thoughts, how you felt about this episode, how did you feel about the fan service scene with Kuro and Ilya, how do you feel about the setup with Gilgamesh, of how he was hinting at maybe what his goal could be, and how he's currently just cooperating with Ilya and them, and he's not really friends he's just cooperating how do you feel about that let me know your thoughts in the comments below i love you all so much you have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe chibi out